Andorra, officially known as the Principality of Andorra, is a small landlocked country. Located in the Eastern Pyrenees Mountains of Southern Europe, bordered by France to the north and Spain to the south. Despite its small size, Andorra has a rich history, unique culture, and a thriving economy. Below is a detailed overview of various aspects of Andorra, geography, Andre a landlocked country in the Eastern Pyrenees mountain range, in southwestern Europe. It is bordered by France and Spain and is the sixth smallest country in Europe, covering 468 square kilometers. Andorra's drain is made up of rugged mountains and narrow valleys. The highest point in the country is Picti Coma Pedrosa at 2,946 meters 9,665 feet, and the lowest is Rio Runer at 2,756 feet 840 meters. Andorra has a temperate climate, with cold, snowy winters and warm, dry summers. The capital and largest city of Andorra is Andorra La Vela which has an average annual temperature range of 30 degrees, 1 C in January, to 68 degrees, 20 C in July. Andorra's natural resources include hydroelectric power, mineral water, timber, iron ore, and lead. The country's industries include tourism, tobacco products, and furniture. History Andorra, officially the Principality of Andorra, is a small, landlocked country in the Pyrenees mountain range between France and Spain. It's believed to have been created by Charlemagne as a buffer state to prevent the Muslim Moors from invading Christian France. Andorra's history dates back to the early Middle Ages when it was established as a principality under the joint sovereignty of the Bishop of Virgil and the Count of Foy. In 1278, a treaty was signed between the Count of Foy and the Bishop of Virgil establishing the co-princeship that continues to govern Andorra today. Over the centuries, Andorra maintained its independence through various treaties and agreements with neighboring powers, including France and Spain. Economy Andorra has a developed, free market economy. In 2022, its economy was the second fastest growing in Europe, after Ireland. Andorra's economy is driven by tourism, retail, and finance. The country also has duty-free shopping for some products in summer and winter resorts. Here are some other facts about Andorra's economy, GDP. In 2022, Andorra's nominal GDP was $3.4 billion, with a GDP per capita of $40,878. Growth Andorra's average real GDP growth over the last decade is 0.8%. Employment In 2022, Andorra's employment rate was 80.7%, with a low unemployment level of 1.7%. Infrastructure Andorra has a sophisticated infrastructure, including a microfiber optic network. Per capita income Andorra's per capita income is higher than the European average and its neighbors, Spain and France. Life expectancy Andorra has one of the highest life expectancy rates in the world. Education Andorra's education system is trilingual, with Catalan, French, and Spanish. Healthcare Andorra has a well-developed healthcare system. Culture Andorra has a unique blend of Catalan, French, and Spanish influences, owing to its geographical location and historical ties. Catalan is the official language of Andorra, although Spanish and French are also widely spoken. The culture of Andorra is characterized by traditional folk music, dance, and festivals, such as the Escadala Festival and the San Antonio celebrations. The country's cuisine reflects its multicultural heritage, with dishes featuring Catalan, French, and Spanish influences. Andorra also has other cultural places, including 1. Centro Cultural, 2. Casa de Laval, 3. Solid Expositions del Govern, for Dada and Tiga Press de la Casa del Court. 5. Ala de Teter I Danza Com Dandora La Vela. 6. Teat Red Les Fontetes. 7. Sculpture Andorra. 8. Monument El Centenari de la Nova Reforma. 9. Sun Gallery. 10. Andorra Al Princep Benlic Act. 1. Gran Valera. Gran Valera is a resort located in Andorra, which includes the skyable sectors. Of two of the seven Andoran parishes, the equivalent of provinces, 
the largest ski area in the Pyrrhus 210 kilometers of Rennes. 2. Sol du El Tartar, a popular ski resort with basic accommodations and an excellent ski school. 3. Casa di Laval. In Casa di Laval is the ancient seat of the General Council. And variant. The building is emblematic for its historical significance. In 1419, an interparochial organization known as the Land Council for Law Noblesse du Temps. You have to wait for your turn to pose in front of this sculpture, not an original representation of Salvador Dali. 5. Engelaster's Lake Las Pardines Path. We enjoyed our canal hike during our stay in Andorra La Vela. It is a steep walk to get to the trail, but convenient too. 6. Sanctuario de Maritzol. You may go from the sanctuary to the rooms where you can see small copies of all Andorra churches. As our journey through Andorra comes to a close, we can't help but reflect on the incredible experiences we've had in this beautiful country. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more travel adventures. And don't forget to leave a comment sharing your favorite moment from our Andorran expedition. Until next time, happy exploring!